everyone, it's Emily from Maples Botanical Garden. Here in Southwest Florida, we are entering our rainy season, which means sometimes we don't get to spend as much time outside as we would like. But today, I'm gonna to show you a fun craft to help you embrace our summer storms. It can be played with in the curbside drains, either during the rainstorm, as long as there's no thunder or lightning, and you don't mind getting wet, or after a rainstorm, it is a twig sailboat. So in order to make your sailboat, you need to go outside and collect some twigs. I got these from below an oak tree. You wanna make sure that your twigs are all around the same thickness, although pick one that's a little bit bigger than all of the rest. That's going to be the mast of your sailboat. You're also going to need some scissors, a hot glue gun, and then either some yarn or some string, and lastly, a large leaf to serve as your sail. So let's get started. Spread your twigs out on a table and choose a thick, large twig to be the mast of your sailboat and set it to the side. Then choose two twigs to be the crossbars of your sailboat and set them aside. Line the remaining twigs up so that they are parallel to one another. Cut the twigs so that they're all the same length. Then attach a piece of yarn to the first twig in line with a knot. Now it's time to weave one side of your twigs together. To weave them, begin by wrapping the yarn around the second twig in line. Pull the yarn through the space between the second and first twigs and then wrap the yarn around the first twig. Next, grab the third twig and wrap the yarn around it once. Pull the yarn through the space between the third and second twigs and then wrap the yarn around the second twig. Pull the yarn back through this same space between the second and third twigs and then pull it straight down. You can think of this pattern as wrap below, pull through, wrap above, pull through. Then you grab your next twig. Continue to weave until you've gone all the way down your row of twigs. Every twig except for the last twig should have two loops of yarn around it. Repeat these steps on the other side of your twigs so you've got weaving going down both sides. Next, grab one of your crossbar twigs and lay it perpendicular against one of the ends of your woven twigs. To weave your crossbar on, grab the end where you left off weaving. This is the end with only one loop on it. So you're going to take the yarn and wrap it over the crossbar twig and through the gap between the last two twigs. Pull the yarn through that gap and then weave it through the outside end opening of the next two twigs. Pull it over the crossbar and through that interior gap. Continue to do this through every gap working your way down the twigs. When you've finished weaving your crossbar, you can tie the yarn off with a knot and then cut any excess yarn. Repeat this weaving pattern for the crossbar on the opposite side of your twigs. The last steps are to attach your mast and your sail. So you're going to take your hot glue gun and do a ring of glue around the bottom of your mast stick and then wedge it in the center of your boat base. Then to attach your sail, you're going to push the top of the mast through the outside bottom of your large leaf and then again push it through the inside top of your leaf. And that's it, you're now ready to sail.